phones. Babylon can't crack the code. What do YouTube? B Kelly back again with another banger video. And today's video, y'all, I am going to be taking a look back at the 2021 recruiting class, but at transfers. In today's video, I'll be looking at the top 10 transfers in that class according to 24 7 Sports and seeing how they fared in 2021. Before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, as we are on the road to 10K. Now let's get into it. At number 10, we have defensive back from Georgia, Tyreek Stevenson, who would end up transferring to Miami. In 2021 with Miami, Tyreek Stevenson had a really good season, the best of his career. As in 11 games played, starting in 10 of them, he had 43 total tackles, 2.5 tackles for loss, half of a sack, one interception, and four pass deflections. And he was even an honorable mention for the All-ACC team. He is coming back to Miami for 2022, and he's only expected to get better. Coming in at number 9 from West Virginia, it is Tyke Smith, another defensive back. He was a standout at West Virginia, and he would end up transferring to Georgia. Tyke Smith was a standout at West Virginia, as in two seasons as a starting defensive back, he racked up a total of 111 tackles, 10 and a half tackles for loss, one sack, four interceptions, one touchdown, nine pass deflections, and one forced fumble. He was expected to be a force to be reckoned with at Georgia and be an influential part in a day one guy on that defense, but unfortunately for Smith, he would end up getting injured before the season and missing about half the season when he came back, then tearing his ACL almost immediately when he came back to the team, only playing in one game for the Bulldogs, where he had three total tackles. At number eight, it was offensive lineman from Tennessee, Wanya Morris, who would end up transferring to Oklahoma. Wanya Morris at Tennessee started in most of the games that he played in. He was an SEC All-Freshman team member and was even named a true freshman All-American by 24-7 Sports in 2019. After he transferred from Tennessee to Oklahoma, he was expected to have a big impact with the Sooners in 2021, but he would end up playing in six games as a backup, and he has a chance in 2022 to have a much bigger role. Coming in at number seven, Running back from Clemson, Demarcus Bowman, who would end up transferring to Florida. Out of all the players on this list, Demarcus had the shortest tenure at his first school, which was Clemson, in which after two games playing for Clemson, he would end up entering the transfer portal, where he would eventually end up at Florida. In his one season at Clemson and two games played, he had nine rushing attempts for 32 yards. His playing time would increase at Florida, but it wouldn't increase that much in one year, as he played in four games, had 14 attempts for 81 yards total, averaging almost six yards per carry. He is expected to have a much bigger role with the Gators in 2022. At number six, we have defensive back from Clemson, Darian Kendrick, who would end up transferring to Georgia. Kendrick actually originally started off as a wide receiver at Clemson when he was a freshman. But after one season as a receiver, he would be moved to defensive back where he had instant success and became one of the best defensive backs in the ACC. In his two seasons as a starting defensive back at Clemson, he racked up a total of 63 tackles, 4 tackles for loss, 1 sack, 3 interceptions, 11 pass deflections, 2 fumble recoveries, and 1 forced fumble. With Georgia in 2021, he had a great season where in 15 games played he had 41 total tackles, 2 tackles for loss, 4 interceptions, and 3 pass deflections. He would also be named as a All-SEC second team and even won the national title. His next step in his football career will be in the NFL as he will be drafted in this year's 2022 NFL Draft. Coming in at number five, we have yet again another Clemson player. This time it's linebacker Mike Jones Jr. who would end up transferring to LSU. In his career at Clemson, he starred in 12 of the 20 games he played in and had a solid career there as he had 46 total tackles, 7 tackles for loss, half a sack, 2 interceptions, 3 pass deflections, and 2 forced fumbles while he was at Clemson. In 2021 with the LSU Tigers, he had a good season where he had 34 total tackles, 
two and a half tackles for loss, and one sack in 10 games played. He's seen as someone that's going to be an influential part of that defense in 2022. On to number four, it was wide receiver from Nebraska, Wandell Robinson who would end up transferring to Kentucky. In his career at Nebraska, he was very productive and a do-it-all kind of player, as he had 91 career receptions for 914 yards and three touchdowns, while also rushing for 580 yards, averaging four yards per carry and four touchdowns in his career as a Cornhusker. At Kentucky in 2021, he was more receiver-based, as in 13 games played, he had the best year of his career with 104 receptions for 1,334 yards, averaging 13 yards per reception and 7 total touchdowns through the air. He was recognized as one of the top players in the SEC and one of the top players in his position in the nation. He is in the 2022 NFL Draft where he's seen as one of the top receivers in that draft because of the versatility he has and the big season he is coming off of. Coming in at number three, it was tight end from LSU, Arik Gilbert, who would end up transferring to Georgia. In his one lone season at LSU, Gilbert had a good campaign. As in eight games played, he had 35 receptions for 368 yards and two total touchdowns through the air. He even made a freshman All-American team. When it was announced he would be going to Georgia, he was expected to have a huge breakout season in 2021, but kind of due to personal reasons and some unknown circumstances, Gilbert would not play in 2021, but he's back with the team and he's expected to have a breakout year in 2022 in that Bulldog offense. Coming in at number two, it was running back from Tennessee, Eric Gray, who would end up transferring to Oklahoma. In his two-year career at Tennessee, Eric Gray was a very consistent player and a good one at that in a split-back system in which he shared carries with Ty Chandler. In his career at Tennessee, he rushed for 1,311 yards, averaging five yards per carry, eight touchdowns on the ground, had 43 receptions for 369 yards and three total touchdowns through the air. He was expected to have a huge season in 2021 for the Sooners and help them go to the national championship game, but he didn't really get utilized the way that many people thought he would. He was a starter for six games out of the 13 he played in. He had his high moments and his low moments, but honestly, in my opinion, he wasn't really utilized the way I thought he really should have. He is expected to have a much bigger season in 2022, but in his career so far as a Sooner, he has 412 rushing yards, averaging 5 yards per carry, 2 touchdowns, while having 229 receiving yards and 2 receiving touchdowns through the air. Now, on to the final player from the 2021 Transfer Portal class. Coming in at number 1, it was linebacker from Tennessee, Henry Toa Toa, who would end up transferring to Alabama. Toa Toa was a two-year starter for Tennessee at the linebacker spot and a standout, as this guy was a complete baller as a volunteer. He had 140 total tackles, 12 and a half tackles, one and a half sacks, one interception, four pass deflections, and one fumble recovery in his time at Tennessee. In 2021 for the Crimson Tide, he garnered second team all SEC honors, and he had a great year with 111 total tackles, seven and a half tackles for loss, four sacks, one pass deflection, and one forced fumble. He was seen as someone that could potentially be an early round guy in the 2022 NFL draft, but he has decided to come back to Alabama in 2022. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below for future video suggestions, and before you head out, Remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. Be Kelly out.